for us it's a beautiful springtime afternoon in Malta and it's we're going towards the semi-final of the national selection to the Eurovision Song Contest and now next to me is last year's entry uh, almost last year's entry he, he came third in the national final that's right <laughs> it's Kurt Kalea nice to meet you hi nice to meet you as well and I hope uh, all the viewers are enjoying will enjoy this interview you brought with you two gentlemen who are they well this is Yuan Yamteberia who is the composer of uh, last year's song and also this year's song and uh, from the music side and Mikhail Gunnaros who is the more from the production side which is one of the composers as well now, how did you find each other to do this? Because you're from Sweden, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a strange story. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, I was at Junior Eurovision. We met Bon Bon from Bulgaria. Yeah. Uh, became friends, invited them to Sweden. They invited me to Italy for a festival. Next year, I returned with my students, uh, which are singers, for a competition in Lido di Esolo. Over there, I met Mr. Kalea. So what uh, did you do there? <laughs> well, I was, I was competing against his students. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, during the festival, we were like, you know, oh, not really, no. no. We really enjoyed a nice conversation, you know, yeah. like, uh, during the festival when we were relaxed. We were talking, taking the joke, making a joke out of, imagine if he wrote a song for me in Eurovision and it was all like, and we found out like a couple of days later that uh, this last year was going to be the first time they would let uh, foreign composers uh, introduced their songs for the Eurovision. So we thought, why don't we you know, do something like that? He sent me a song, we liked it, and we worked very well together last year. And uh, the relationship just kept building, you know what I mean? What was that song called? Last year. Last year? O over and over. That was also, also yours, yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And now, so did you tailor the song, which is called This Is The Night, for this year, on onto uh, Kurt? Yes, because uh, we were first we were not going to do it uh, but then af after we met in Italy uh, this year as a well a second time because this year yeah. last year I, I actually won that festival mm -hmm. and this year I was asked to go as a judge okay. in, the, in this very yeah. same festival and during my time over there uh, Johan and I obviously because we were buddies you know like yeah, yeah. Uh, we thought well, do you think we should put another song in and uh, he was like well maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea uh, I gave him a title the tonight I think originally it was Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Something, uh, like, something that. like that. And when uh, he went and kept on thinking about it, and he sent me a song very close, actually, to the to the closing date. Yeah, <laughs> it was very close. It was yeah. very close. And then what I did, what we did, we just uh, got the band into a small little studio, and we just uh, got the instruments going, mm -hmm. and we submitted that version as the application. And then later on, uh, Mikael got involved by uh, getting the song and really making it sound you know professional professional yeah because ours was very amateur <laughs> yeah how long do you actually take to to write the song how long did you take for, for that song it's such different uh, the over and over took about maybe 30 minutes it was so quick it just came i was in the car driving and i heard this melody coming and i heard kurt's voice doing it and it, it was sort of the same thing this year although it took some more time this year because I didn't also want to repeat the same kind of song again. We mm -hmm. wanted to do something, something totally different because you cannot repeat, because people will still compare it. And most of the time they will not like the new song as much as last year's song. Mm -hmm. it, that, that's how... It's, we, it's very normal. You it's know? very normal. Especially, uh, for example, mm -hmm. this year we've had a lot of success with the song. It's been played on, uh, I believe, it's been played on Eurovision Radio as well, uh, even though we were not the representative mm -hmm. of our country. Um, it's had a lot of radio time in Malta and airtime on television. They've asked me to play it in a number of concerts, which was great, you know what I mean? And uh, so it was very difficult. We could either have gone with something similar mm -hmm. or else we just go with something new. We were able to fuse both ideas, right? Yeah. Like the band is still there, but we fused the live instruments to a more dance track. Yes. And that is actually what we as a band play. I mean, when we're in uh, doing our thing, we play in places where you can sort of feel the dance music but it's done with our real drums not with the you know yeah. the synths and stuff that's what we do as a band nowadays and we've sort of were able to do with the help of Mikael obviously and uh, and Yuan all together we went to spend four days in the studio there just waking up and getting you know going to bed there yeah. and at the end of the day it was a successful I mean for us I, I believe the sound is so much better now mm -hmm. do you do that all in Sweden the mixing yeah absolutely I can stick in a little uh, 
piece of commercial. We mixed it using loudspeakers, studio monitors that I'm uh, manufacturing myself. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, it's a brand new company called Newfield. Newfield. Newfield Corrego. But you, you are both in Sweden, of course, and, and yeah. it's a big industry there. It, it's yeah. a very festival. And are you also involved in this this year? Uh, Have you it, been involved in the previous years? Oh, you mean in, in, in the Swedish? Yeah, uh, Swedish no, national It selection. has been very difficult for not known because we are still not known mm. songwriters and to get into to this uh, bubble. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, for, from my point of view, it started with the Union Eurovision, mm -hmm. and then to the Adult Eurovision through, through Malta, and this is where we are now. So we'll probably try to submit something to Sweden if, if we get a good enough song. You have to try. If you don't try, you'll never. Yeah, 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 that's, that's right. true. That's true. But well, he, he has already been kind of to Eurovision because the Junior Eurovision Song Contest entry for last year, you you composed the uh, Falla. Yeah, yeah, that's true for for Eric Rapp. Uh, how? So excuse me for a moment to go back from Malta to to. No, do that's this. all right. That's all right. Uh, how did it all go for your delegation at that at that time with the result? Uh, oh, I mean. When, when you come f as, as from Sweden in, in this competition, we don't have many neighbors. We have, <laughs> you, you, know, you know how it is. It, you yeah. know, everybody knows how it's working. We, it, it's the taste of music. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of know from the start that we're starting somewhere in the last place and try to work, your way work, up. Your, work ourselves up. So we, we kind of know that. And we just, it's a competition and tastes are different. And, and we, we're just enjoying the moment being there, just you know, for, to to it's be an in the action. opportunity to perform in front of a big number of people. Exactly, I mean. it's it's for the routine, and that's it, right. you cannot be too focused on winning and, and all like that because then life will be it will always be disappointments. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to see the gig, the, the getting to know everyone else, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as an inspiration and be, be satisfied with that. If you if you win, it's an extra bonus, but it and, and the, the trip trip to Yerevan can also inspire you for a new song you can write for Kurt. That's exactly, right. exactly. I mean, you never know. You never know. We've so. seen you in a few national selections here in Malta. It was Priscilla and Kurt. That was uh, the first, yeah. Was the yes. first? Was it Waterfalls? That's the right. That's, that's right. one. Oh, my brain works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is my third uh, third time altogether. Um, I, I must be honest, this is my it was first time I submitted was with Priscilla and we made it to the final. Second time I submitted alone was last year and this is the third time I've submitted. So thank God that at least every time I submitted we made it here to the but, final. But do you feel more, more comf confident or, or more easier to do a, s a solo, solo like you do now or you want to be a, the duet? Um, I, I never, I'm the kind of person who never draws a line anywhere, you know what I mean? It's like if I love performing with other artists because I get the opportunity to learn. I want um, Richard and I, Richard Edwards and I were talking about writing a duet just for radio. You know what I mean? Just for us, just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I performed with Deborah C a couple of uh, well, a couple of months ago now. Um, there's a number of people who are in the finals who I've actually worked with, and and I enjoy it because you get to learn so much, you know, from from the other people, which is amazing. The song, maybe I should ask the composer of, yeah. of the song, it's called uh, Tonight's the Night. Yeah. This is the night. This, this is, is the, the night. night. Um, of course, will be the night on Friday to, to go through into the uh, That's right. final. Um, what is the song about? How did, how did, you, did Actually, you get inspiration to write this? Yeah, um, when, I, when I spoke to Kurt about... Uh, I, it's different lyrics, because uh, Kurt al always sort of rewrites lyrics to, to make... Uh, which is good. To, ma to make it more suit your yes, experiences, right. exactly. So, so it gets be more believable when he sings it, of course. So the original idea was, T tonight is my night, I'm going to shine, I'm going to be the star. Mm -hmm. And so, sort of kept that into a little bit the same, but in... In, in, in my own way. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, um, the original idea was that this is the night where you can change, where a change is going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So. It, it was written for me when I wrote it. I w when I when I took you know, Yuan's lyrics and wrote them to fit my personality and my vocabulary. Um, I was thinking like, okay, how did, how could this relate? How could someone else relate to this song? So, for example, someone is getting married. This is the night for me yeah. to, to make it. You know, like this is gonna change my life. Uh, someone is graduating. Someone is going to make a big decision in his life, and it's going to, you know, this is the night. This it's a is typical American Idol lyric, isn't it? I, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's sort inspired. Of like it's, that. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah it, it's, it, you know, like every we have the opportunity every day to make a change, yeah. and uh, it always starts today. You can't say I'm going to do it tomorrow, or you know, you always have the time. The, the, uh, 
what you have is now. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's the only power you have to make a change. Since when do you actually sing? Since when did you discover that you, that you wanted to be a music star? Oh, right. <laughs> um, I always loved the camera since I was a kid. Um, but I guess it started off later in life, you know. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I used to go to the choirs just to be with my friends. You know, it wasn't really something that I, I had inspired to hear. And obviously, the, the opportunities have recently grown. It wasn't as big as it was. As it, I, it's not, it wasn't as big as it is now. Um, uh, during my time when I was a kid, I just did it for, you know, like to be with my friends. But along the years, I, I, my cousin and I were in this uh, youth center together and uh, we started singing and then obviously he took his solo away, I took my solo away. Mm -hmm. And he just, you know, it just starts on its own. It just got me from the shoulders and sort of all of a sudden from one little show to the next. And then uh, I'm not a shy person, I must admit. So I had asked a couple of TV producers if I can be like a backing vocalist or something in a TV yeah. program. And it's just sort of kept on building there. And then the more you do it, the more you get to love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are today, you know. But are you a full-time musician? Because I know many, many singers in Malta, they have two jobs. They have yeah. one, one side, they're teachers or, or working as a lawyer. Yeah. One, one of your colleagues, uh, singing colleagues is a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, but, but do you have a second job going on? Um, I'm self-employed. So I sort of I'm a marketer. Okay. You know mm -hmm. I, I'm I market myself obviously as a singer. So uh, for example I'm booking my my own work for music and managing my stuff and all that. But obviously to boost my income I I also do marketing when it comes to alternative energy. Mm -hmm. So there's photovoltaic panels and solar water heaters and all that stuff. Wow. It's it's, it's, an, it's an interesting job. I get yeah. to meet a lot of people. It's currently one of the biggest issues in Malta the electricity bill. Oh, so yeah. uh, I get to sort of help my Maltese, you know, yeah. my, my people sort of invest in a system which will make them uh, more comfortable later in life, when it comes to the electricity bill, obviously. And uh, I love doing it. Yeah. Back to music. Back um, to music. <laughs> back to music. <laughs> Who actually inspires you on, on being a music star? It's, it's a mixture of people. Um, personally, I, I love, for example, uh, how Robbie Williams steals the stage. Um, uh, I love Chris Daughtry's voice a lot and, and the fact and how he plays, you know, is like very into it. Then on a completely different uh, number, I love M Michael Jackson, how, you know, he steals, the, you know, all the moves and he's all over the stage and the energy he transmits to the people. There's a good number of people who, who inspire me. I like Enrique Iglesias a lot, um, you know, the sex appeal of, of, mm -hmm. of, of, of him, how he sings, the, you know, the feelings he transmits. Yeah, there's a good number of singers. I, I, I can't really narrow it down, but I guess those would be Michael Bublé, the, you know, the charming with the, with the tie and mm -hmm. the jacket. Yeah, there's a good number of people that I like. Kurt, thank you very much also to your composers. Very nice interview, very, very much enjoyable. You have a message to your fans or to the readers, listeners and viewers of our program? Yes, um, live life, just enjoy it. Um, be positive, always be positive and uh, always be ready to listen more than than to talk and you will learn a lot that is what i can say for sure thank you very much for that advice <laughs> <laughs> Good, thank you very much and the, and the team uh, this Thanks. tonight tonight this is the night this is, is your entry to the national final in malta for 2012 Dankeschön. all the best good luck thank you, thank you very much.